welcome back to my channel trading secrets this channel is for entertainment purposes only so please do your own due diligence so for those of you who do not know my name is ali i have over 20 years experience teaching accounting economics business and law uh, so through this channel i would like to provide some stock analysis and also at the end a short five minute trading lesson so please stay tuned till the end so let's start with a quick recap of uh, yesterday's trading. Uh, generally, the market was uh, still uh, consolidating. However, not as many um, reds as the previous day. So overall portfolio about half a percent down. So lots of gains and a few losses as well. Uh, so let's have a quick recap of some of the stocks we looked at in the previous video. Uh, first one, ticker symbol FVRR, Fiverr International. So this one was positive. So uh, this was up in excess of uh, 7% yesterday, closing at a record uh, high, $303.13. So uh, this one is one of my long-term holds. Uh, what I do do with this particular stock is I do use profits from time to time to invest in uh, the other more riskier penny stocks. Uh, the other stock that we looked at um, was um, tick symbol ABEPF. Uh, this was one of the shining lights. Again, uh, absolutely fantastic day of trading yesterday. So congratulations to everybody who did get into this. Please refer back to my previous video for a, a very detailed uh, analysis of this stock. Vision Lithium. Uh, tick symbol ABPF. Uh, I did announce there was breaking news on this stock yesterday uh, where they were able to extract 99.99% uh, .99 pure lithium. Uh, uh, on, this truck, on this stock just this week, I mean, I'm up in excess of 135%. Uh, so uh, excellent going forward. Uh, it is a penny stock, so I do see this... Um, uh, being quite volatile so be prepared to cash in some profits or use your stop losses and uh, finally the other stock uh, we uh, had uh, analysis for was tick symbol abml american battery metals so this was quite uh, interesting uh, this yesterday so if you have a look at the chart for yesterday it closed up uh, in excess of four percent at three dollars ninety three so if you just look at the vertical line uh, around in the middle, uh, this was quite interesting because uh, this was a point where lots and lots of people were about to uh, invest. Uh, I myself was looking at uh, the price of $3.52 and considering uh, an additional investment. Uh, and then if we look what happened, uh, it's almost 90 degree up, uh, closing straight up to close to $4. So... What this indicates is that there were many, many people who had uh, buy orders that were automatically triggered, most likely at $3.51 or $3.50. So we can see that that has just shot up. So what that indicates is going forward uh, for lots of stocks, people will put uh, uh, buy orders or sell orders at, at generally round figures. So this one was $3.50, the next one could be th uh, $4, $3.50. So be aware that, that, that these particular round prices, uh, the stocks can either shoot up or shoot down. Uh, so today I'd like to look at uh, ticker symbol OEG, uh, which is uh, Orbital Energy. So let's have a look at this uh, stock. So this is a, a stock I also hold. Uh, it's been growing uh, since uh, November very, very well. I'm currently in excess uh, of 56% uh, growth in this one. I've just made recently um, another investment into this uh, stock. So I'm going to share reasons why uh, shortly. Uh, you will see yesterday it closed 1.28% uh, down at $8.64. So let's, let's delve into this company to start with. Okay, so a quick overview of this company, Orbital Energy. So if we have a look at the uh, screen there, we can see the Orbital Energy Group uh, tr currently trading on the NASDAQ, uh, formerly known as CUI Global Incorporated, uh, is creating a diversified uh, portfolio of services through the acquisition and development of innovative companies. So these include Orbital Energy's group of uh, businesses such as Orbital Gas, Renewables, we also have Orbital Solar Services, Eclipse Foundation Group, 
so we can see that company is very very well diversified although this company is trading on the nasdaq it's not trading on the otc uh, i i think i would still consider this as a penny stock it's still quite volatile it's still an emerging company and um so it's it's one that we need to be quite careful with so let's have a look at some of their uh, solar services on on the screen here so orbital energy recently um, looked at uh, developing uh, a move into solar services partnering partnering with uh, black sunrise half century fund and acon lighting america uh, so obviously this is news came through on january the 25th 2021 so again that's a good example of diversification that we can see here uh, so let's now just delve into their financials uh, so if we look at the financials we can see uh, revenue is increasing however one thing that i would like to say is this company is not profitable uh, it probably will not be profitable for three years uh, however it is growing uh, it does have cash so it does have a good level of assets uh, the market cap for this is uh, just in excess of $400 million, but the company is growing very, very fast. Uh, so now what I'd like to have a look at is, uh, first of all, the depth of experience of Orbital Energy. So if we divide this up into three from this uh, slide on their website, they have alternative energy, uh, petrochemical processing, power and utilities. So the next thing we're going to do now is look at the chart. Okay, if we have a look at this chart, this chart is uh, very interesting. So let's go back to the very, very beginning, uh, just at the end of 2020. We can see that uh, through the chart here, this company was trading, Orbital Energy was trading just over $2. Uh, and then at the start of 2021, we can see here on the diagram uh, that there was a little bit of consolidation around about 7th of January we can see through the uh, green candles there a, a general movement up closing around four dollars and then all the way up to 21st of uh, January uh, consolidation and then moving up uh, in excess of five dollars just towards the end of January uh, and right now uh, February we can see a similar pattern uh, lots of consolidation and closing just steadily right now, uh, around about $8.65 so we can see uh, consolidation around $2 consolidation around $4 and currently it seems to be consolidating around $8 so I believe this is now ready to move um, up uh, and the other reason why I am suggesting this is that there was some breaking news yesterday which I'm going to go share with you now uh, so this came through uh yesterday and it's the come through seeking alpha so orbital energy is becoming the market leader in solar farm construction uh and uh we can see on this headline uh the tar solar uh, any orbital energy tick symbol oeg has been upgraded to a buy uh previously it was a neutral and the uh new price target is now twelve dollars so uh, that's an increase of $4. So as I said, I have increased my investment in this stock uh, uh, based on all, all of this combination of, of factors, the financials, the diversified portfolio of the business, the growth. And right now we have this um, uh, upgrade of rating to buy. So uh, it's, it's a very, very positive sign. So let's just finish off through the article. At the end, we can see Orbital boasts a solid uh, project backlog. Uh, certainly true. They have a, a lots of diversified uh, sort of uh, business uh, angles to their um, projects. And they have uh, solar power now, which is a, an addition. Uh, they have construction projects. And right at the end, we can see that the valuation uh, warrants this increase in target price. Uh, so certainly put this on your watch list. Uh, it is... Currently, I believe in the buy zone because uh, it's consolidating. I do expect a movement up uh, very, very soon, possibly middle of next week. So put this on your watch list. Currently trading at $8.64. There may be a little bit more consolidation. 
uh, but anywhere around eight dollars fifty, I believe, is is excellent value uh, for a medium to long term investment in orbital energy. Um, what we're going to look at now is in the current lesson is just uh, really uh, this is for pri uh, primarily for people who are new to investing who are thinking about investing. So these are three tips for success that I'm just going to share for it with you. Uh, first one is as a new investor, be prepared to take some losses. So this is certainly true for nearly all new investors. There will be situations where you have losses and this may worry you. This may, you know, create panic and stress. Uh, I myself, when I first started trading uh, my overall portfolio, uh, after one month was was down in excess of 25%, uh, which was very worrying. And then um, I kind of reevaluated my strategy, looked at what I was doing and, and made a change of investments into more diversified companies. Uh, and currently right now, as of today, uh, my portfolio is well in excess of 100%. And that's from the original investment. So uh, what this also means is second tip here persistence is the key uh, so don't do not get discouraged try to learn from your mistakes and finally learning doesn't learning to invest does not happen overnight it takes time and effort lots of research uh, lots of uh, analysis of companies so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, join me again in the next video